I feel like we don't properly know how to get our opinions across to each other when we argue. Um, I feel like he's stubborn, which makes me even more angry with him. You two recently had an argument about Andrew damaging your car. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Let's take a look and see what happened. The right hand yes, side came it off. Did. I noticed that. I pointed it out exactly, to you. Exactly, but you but make you, it seem like I made that happen. You came around and you forced it in, Andrew. Why did you do that? Because now the piece is broken. I can't even find it. I don't even know where it's at right now. My point is that if it wasn't, if it was already broken, uh, I shouldn't have touched it. But right, if you it was already, have if it, it was why already. Did you, but why did you touch it? Because. Why did you touch it? Uh, I was trying to fix it and I shouldn't have touched it, but it was right. already broken, but you can't it see it. It wasn't broken, Andrew. Don't you understand? It was still going Art. into the back, and all I want is an apology. And what do you think you want? You want more than just an apology. Well, yeah, I want like half and half of the back see. of my bumper, but you okay. can't get that, right? I'm just curious, how do you guys feel when you see yourselves in that playback? Astonished. It's embarrassed? I don't it's embarrassing. Know. To me, I'm almost like the child, like, mommy, daddy, please don't fight. Cause she's just going in and you're like, no, please listen to him. No, well, what I was trying to do, well, what I meant to do is. You're right, I shouldn't have a chance, I shouldn't have to defend myself uh, uh, somebody that I love, you know, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. This is a really unhealthy way of solving problems in a relationship. And at the end of the day, you will lose the entire war, which is the war for your relationship if you don't change this dynamic quickly. Let me ask you a question. Honestly, just the two of you can answer this. Mm -hmm. Do you think the majority of the time that you find yourself arguing about something that's really not important? All the time. It's always something really silly, something small like that. It's madness for two people to live together to be this way. <laughs> Both y'all keep trying to be right. Yep. Mm -hmm. We have Very to listen to each other more often. No, man. How we listen to each other. Oh, y'all not married? Not yet, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't do it, Steve. Don't Here do we it. Go. Here we go. Okay. We even got silence. Break up. So, so, so he said, no. So, okay, I'm out. so. Break up. No, 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 no. Let me, let me go say home. This. They ain't got no. Y'all got kids? No. Break okay. up now. <laughs> okay, so yeah. listen. Run. <laughs> Y'all like makeup sex. That's what. Oh we're my doing. god! <laughs> Why are you still trying to help them? Because I truly believe. Here's the benefit to this, right? <laughs> While it's gonna be I'm a lot cool. of work for them. They arguing about everything. Do you all want help? Yeah. If you were course. to sit in counsel, and here's the good thing about this, that in every relationship, you. if you learn how to work things out, a marriage or a long-term relationship will stretch you and grow you in ways that you never thought. This really makes a lovely relationship if the two of you can do what you need it's to like do. It's like organized chaos. Each other. You have to figure out how to come to the middle. Yeah. You have to come to the middle. Thank you. Call me. I want to thank my girl Spirit for being just a super counselor here. I got you. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.